Good morning, I'm Christy Duffy. Today is Monday, April 12th, and here's what's in the news this morning. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that European governments said they were prepared to extend Greece a $40 billion bailout if needed in an effort to deliver the country from a debt crisis that has rattled markets for months and tested Europe's monetary union. Bloomberg is reporting that Palm is seeking bids for itself as early as this week. The Wall Street Journal is reporting as wary Americans start to crack open their wallets, household goods makers like Procter & Gamble, Colgate, Palmolive, Kimberly Clark and Clorox are cranking up their advertising, hoping to coax consumers farther out of their shells. The Guardian is reporting in an ongoing disagreement over pricing for the NHS and rules surrounding safety trials, Novartis and Roche are reportedly threatening to pull out of Britain. In Barron's weekly issue, Apple unveils an updated iPlatform, a new version of the software used by the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. Barron's technology trader columnist Eric Savitz says some of what transpired at the relatively low-key town hall event has outsized implications for Apple itself, the phone business, application developers, advertisers, content producers, and investors. Barron's.com says that Diageo and Molson look more attractive than Constellation brands and that clean energy is likely to drop at least 30 percent with dilution looming. The paper also reported that Brooker's sales could rise 10 percent a year, which is twice its rivals. I'm Christy Duffy. For more on these headlines, you can visit their respective websites. You can also visit theflyonthewall.com for a comprehensive report, or you can receive this report every morning right here on our YouTube channel, Trade the Trend.